All right, guys, in this quick video, I'm gonna show you how to set up the GP VP T2BT Sony shooting grip on the Sony ZV E10. Now, it's very easy to do, and uh, let's just get right into it. So, the first thing you gotta do, it's a little bit of a practice and dexterity here, trying to, you gotta hold this lever and then pull this lever at the same time. It's a little bit tricky to do, but it's got that special lock in there. So, the first thing you gotta do is put that CR2032 battery in there, positive side up like so. I'm not exactly sure how long that battery will last, but they're very cheap, so just pick up a few of them in the store. They have them by like the register and stuff at Home Depot, things like that. All right, so what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to go into the menu. So there's a menu button here on the back of the ZV-E10 right here. I'm just gonna click the menu button. Notice where I'm at. I'm in the network area there. You can see it looks like a globe up top and then Bluetooth settings. So if you go into Bluetooth settings, you can go to Bluetooth function. You're gonna to wanna to turn that on. Then you're gonna to wanna to, want to go into pairing mode, like so. So now the camera is set to pairing mode. All right, so what you need to do on this remote is hold the photo button down and the up button on the zoom lever. And there it is. So you can see it connected. So we just have to hit the okay button, which is this center button on the back. And now it says paired. So we're good to go, hit okay again. So by hitting the menu button, you can go back and we're just gonna go one page over right here where it says Bluetooth remote control. You're gonna wanna turn that on right there. Make sure that's on. So now I can control the zoom, see that? I can take a photo. It's actually recording right now because I have it set to video mode and I have the option for record with shutter button. So that's why it's recording right now. But let me stop recording. So as you can see, it doesn't have to be attached to this to work. So you can use this as a remote control as well. So let me just switch the camera right here by hitting this button into photography mode. And you can see in the top left corner here what mode it's in. So that's now photography mode. So now if I hit the photo button, it should take a picture. And there, there you go. Now it's taking a photo. All right, so let me mount this up to the top of the grip here and just give you another look here. So you can turn this around. Actually, this grip has a button here. So if you hit that button, you can turn the camera around, you know, to put it in like selfie mode, for example, and then it locks into place. And then you can close this down and hold the camera. So you see this button here, you can change the angle like so, so you can get it just how you need it for selfie purposes. If you want a full review of this grip, I show you how to use it in more detail, you can click that link right here. All right guys, catch up with you later. Take care.